Hello friends and welcome back. I'm Pastor Nate Starkey and this is Hope United Methodist Church in Edwardsburg, Michigan, and we are blessed that you have set this time aside to join together with us in wondering about, exploring life and relationships and scripture and, and God and faith and wondering how all those things come together and, uh, and to express how we see those things come together on a daily basis so that we might be witnesses to what God is up to in the world. I'm certain that God is up to something in your world and, uh, and in mine, and often we just aren't tuned into it. And so in the next couple of weeks, we are wanting to tune in to what God is doing, what God is calling us to do in the world to share God's love for every person. Uh, we're talking about the mission of the church in this in the weeks to come and 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 the our specific vision for how we are to accomplish that mission. Um, and I'd love to hear from you this week. I'd love for you to call me, message me, leave something in the comments, whatever it might be. I want to know in your own words, what is the mission of the church, whether it's Hope United Methodist Church or the, the greater church, uh, what is the mission? And what is the vision? The vision would be how, how we, we accomplish that mission, how we take that mission into the world to, to share it or to do it or to accomplish it, whatever it may be. Um, Take those notes right now because I would love to hear what you think before I influence you with any further words. So hit pause, jot it down, and then start over and let's talk about what is the mission of the church. Well, the mission of the church is unchanged. It has been the same all the time. It was even Jesus' mission. It's, it, we th we often think that the the church starts at the book of Acts, and I've even said that before. But really, the church has been unchanged, or the the mission of the church has been unchanged, and it, though it's been said in different ways, um, Jesus was on the same mission to share the kingdom of God with the world with people and and to know that pe to let people know that they are invited into the kingdom of God now not at death not someplace up in the clouds now on earth just as it is in heaven the kingdom of God exists and and you are welcome in it and uh Jesus says it like this in the book of Matthew, he says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That's the mission. That's our, that's our mission statement. We say it in different ways sometimes. The United Methodist Church says, uh, making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. It's a good way to say it. Other churches say it in different ways. The truth of it all is that there's good news out there that God is trying to share with you, that you are loved and welcome and forgiven, and that you've been given a unique set of humanness and that humanness that is uniquely yours your talents your quirks your weirdness your intelligence whatever it is your gifts can be used for the kingdom they can be used for helping you and other people around you know that that god loves you that you are forgiven that you are Beloved, 
That's the mission. The vision, the vision on the other hand, is how we see ourselves living out the mission. The mission is to go into the world and share God's love. We can say that in lots of different ways, but it's always the same. To help the world know the work that God has done to make forgiveness possible in his in Jesus, in, in, in Christ, we know forgiveness. And so we are called to share that. But the vision of the church, and specifically the vision of Hope United Methodist Church, it shifts. It changes. New people come, people go. The, the body of the church shifts and, and, and varies. And so we have to constantly be adapting to who we are so that we can collectively go toward who we are called to be. And language changes in, in communities and in, in, in culture. The, the things we say today might not really make sense to someone in a hundred years. And the things we said a hundred years ago, or 20 years ago, or five years ago, might not hit with the community today. And so our visioning process is for us to be on the brink of that space, on the, on the leading edge of, of that thing we're called to be. Are we communicating it well? Are we in the places of the community in which we can share that good news? Are we understood in that? Are we putting ourselves out there? Are we being intentional with, with building this relationship with people and with God? We're in that process. And I would love to know and to hear from you uh, what, what's, what those words trigger, what, what comes to mind when I say things like that. Who are we called to be? And so over the next few weeks, we're going to be collecting from, from you and from the congregation and from anyone we meet. Well, I want to I know. What, what's going on in your mind, in your life, and in faith that, that we can kind of put together a full understanding. Uh, and and it, it, there probably won't be just one quote from one person. It's going to be a collective pool of understanding that, that creates a statement of, of who we are and who we're called to be, why we are here, and, and how we intend to share this good news in the world. And so today I just want to share a couple questions that that uh, maybe might help you think about who you are and who God is and who the church is and, and all of those things. And so here's a few. How do you see yourself? When you When you look at yourself, think about yourself, how do you see yourself? And how does God see you? And is there a difference? What does God want every person, every single human to know about themselves and about their future and about God? What does God want you to know about God? What does God want your neighbor to know about God? What uniquely makes Hope United Methodist Church capable of sharing that good news? We're, we're, we are capable, but what, what about us is special? What can we do differently than, than 
the church across the street or the church up the road. There's another church called Hope United Methodist Church just a couple miles down the road. It's called New Hope. Same road, a couple miles down the road. What, are, what, what can we do that is different than the church right across the road, than the church right down the street? What is our unique niche in this community for our neighbors, for our the people that we can reach on a daily basis? What, what's different? How can we impact lives in a way that, that people don't just say, well, oh, there's a church being the church, but they say, hey, those people are all from the church and, and what they're doing is special and it, it, it helped and it impacted me. And what can we do to be different and understood and intentional in the community? What is the vision? How, how do we accomplish this mission that we are on together now in a way that's relevant to any person that, that contacts us, whether they're coming to church or whether they're meeting us as a group out in the world or, or you in the grocery store? What about our vision? Uh, is it understood? Is it simple? Is it impactful? If that, if you're, if you've shaped now a vision of who we are, then when we apply that vision, if if we took whatever it is you are seeing as as who we are called to be, and we apply that, then who are we in two years? In five years? In ten? In 20, what, do, what does Hope United Methodist Church look like then? What does Edwardsburg look like? What does the world look like? Are we transforming the world? Because we've been given that power and that gift and that holy inspiration to transform the world in Christ's name. And if we are on that mission, and we are living out our vision to accomplish that mission, what can we look for along the way? What mile markers will we hit? What indicators will we see to let us know that, that we are living out this new vision? Those are some questions. I hope they help you kind of shape a thought in your head. I, I And I hope that you will take a little time to write it down, articulate it, get it, take it from this space floating back here into something tangible, something shareable, and I hope you'll share it with me so that I can be the collector of all these little seeds and uh, let them kind of grow into a, a, a statement of, of vision and a statement of, of who we are that we can share with, we can know collectively and we can share it with the world. There's a million ways to say God loves you and that God expressed God's love for the world through everything he did in Christ. And that we have been impacted by the love of God in Christ Jesus. There's a million ways to say it. How can we say it together? In the name of the Father, Spirit, and Son.